Hi guys, my name is Kelvin, I'm from Germany and in this tutorial I like to explain you one of the most powerful techniques what I know with Photoshop. The name of the technique is Freaky Amazing Detail. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, this technique is, is brilliant. Um, uh, what you can do with this technique is you can bring more details, more sharpness into your image. You can create a very edgy, special look for your images. And it doesn't matter if you have an image like that. I mean, this is a compositing. Or if, do, if you have a landscape shot. It, do, it doesn't matter. Every time when you like to get more details, this technique is perfect for you. And this technique are for the professionals, for the Photoshop freaks. I do not explain what a layer is or what a mask is. If you are a Photoshop beginner, go back to school. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. But um, watch some basic tutorials first. Um, I mean, this tutorial is uh, for all the professionals, for all the Photoshop freaks out there. Okay. So let's get started and with the first step, I mean the first step is very easy to do. What you need is, you need two copies of these layers. And you can do that by pressing Command J twice and then you have two copies. Or if you are non-professional and, and working with a PC, you can, I'm just kidding again, oh, sorry I try to be funny. Um, you can uh, duplicate that layer by pressing, I guess it's STRG and, and J. or well, it's not cool, but you can drag and drop it here. And, oh my god, I'm explaining the basics right now. Okay, so what you need is uh, two copies, okay? And this was step number one, the easy part. So in step number two, we are getting a little bit more difficult. And what we have to do now is we have to bring both of these layers into a group. And if some beginner is still watching this training, now, please let me know what is the way to bring two layers in a group. See? You do not know that. So, practice some basics and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, no, I explained you that. Um, press the Shift key and click on uh, both of these two layers. And then you can click on that little icon and uh, then you can choose New group, group from Layers. Or, I mean, I told you, it's not cool, but you can also go to the menu, New, and right here. But we do not do that. Um, you can click here, New Group from Layers. And we call that freaky, amazing details. And of course, um, you can use for every kind of thing a shortcut. But people who are using only shortcuts, I mean, they are always in hurry. Come on, relax, try to enjoy Photoshop. So using shortcuts is okay, but not for everything, right? <laughs> okay, so the next step, that was step number two bringing both of these layers into a group. And in step number three, okay, now the freaky part. The first thing what you have to do is we have to change the blend mode here from pass through, oh my, one of the hardest word uh, for German, pass through, um, we have to change the blend mode into overlay. So changing the blend mode of the group into overlay is the next step. And also we have to change the blend mode um, of, the, of this top layer into vivid light. Okay? And then we have to invert this layer by pressing Command I or the menu. You can see that. Um, uh, image adjustments. Invert. Command I. Right here. Okay? So this was step number three, the freaky part. And now take a look at the before after. Take a look uh, on the amazing details right now. Let me zoom in. Take a look. If I click on that uh, group, then you can see the before after. Before, after, before, after. Amazing, right? Uh, you can see something. Go a little closer to your screen. Take a look again. I zoom in. It's very detailed. Before, after, before, after. Okay, there is nothing. Uh, I, I mean, I try to be funny, but I imagine how many people are uh, right with the nose right on the screen like, what the hell? I can see something. Where are the freaky amazing details? <laughs> okay, but now the last step and the la with the last step, I mean, I try to be serious right now. In the last step, you, you will get all the details what you like to have. Um, 
the the professional users can now uh, create a, um, a smart filter. You can convert this layer into a smart filter, and uh, then you are able to change the filter. What we apply next, uh, when, whenever you like. Um, I think that is the most uh, professional way. But um, for all the people who are not so professional, you do not uh, need a smart object. You can also use a filter uh, right here on this layer. But I'm converting this right now into a smart filter. And then, and that is the freaky part, we are applying a blur filter to get more details. How crazy is that? We are sharpening the image with the blur tool. Oh my God. So um, I'm choosing a surface blur right here. And um, now take a look at the before, after. Before, after, before, after. And that is the freaky amazing detail technique. And of course you can do some changes here. Um, let me explain you a couple of things in, in this filter here. If you raise up here the threshold, of course, your result is, I mean, it's much stronger, but then we have the high pass effect. We have some bright edges. We have some halos here, and that looks not good. So what I recommend you is to take care with this threshold slide. I mean, you, you can use, it depends a little bit on the image. Um, most of the time I'm using here a threshold, something between 10 or 20 levels. And with the radius, you, you can uh, set your kind of uh, details, what you like to have. Um, if you have a lower radius here, you will get more small details and you can uh, raise that for a little bit more contrast details, contrasted details. So um, so let's click OK and let's take a look at the before, after. If we zoom out here, that was before, that is after, before, after. And of course you can duplicate that layer uh, or the group and uh, you can add more uh, techniques. Uh, but this was the freaky amazing detail technique. And the coolest thing is you can create an action with this technique and if you press then your play button you will have this group with this effect and if you are converting the top layer into a smart object you are always able to change the effect by double clicking on the surface blur and you can change the settings so everything is a little bit more non-destructive and uh, yeah, that is the freaky, amazing detail technique. And I'm sure also the beginners um, see that this technique is not so difficult. It's a little bit strange by blurring the image to get more details, but it works fine. And as I told you, you can use that for landscape shots, for portraits, doesn't matter. Give them a try, and I hope you like that. And sorry for my uh, kind of jokes. And uh, yeah, that was it. My name was Calvin. I'm from Germany and uh, see you in my next tutorials. Bye.